take three. We are having GoPro issues. If you have one of these GoPro Hero 9, and maybe it's on all of them, it seems to not like if you record very many videos and haven't reformatted your flash drive recently. Yeah. Like every month or even sooner. Giving me opportunities to practice. So, have I even introduced? No. My name is Rebel, and I am the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing a haul video for you. Um, two weekends ago, we had a crazy good sourcing weekend. We hit four estate sales on, was it Friday or Saturday? Friday? Friday, I believe. Friday. And then one of them was having a fill-a-bag Sunday afternoon. So we went back to it. And what I'm going to be showing you today is what we bought on that second day Um it was fill a box, fill a bag. Um, you had to bring your own, and she would tell you how much it would be. So when we got there, I asked how much it would be to fill the IKEA bags, and she said $15. So this isn't our normal sourcing. We didn't do comps. We just kind of went through the house picking up things that either I'm going to list on eBay and cross list some of it to Facebook, or I'll put it in my booth. Um, but... It's just, it's a wide variety of stuff. Now, I do have stuffed animals to share, but even them, a lot of them are ties, which I do buy, but I probably wouldn't have bought them in bulk like I did, and which I have done at the Goodwill bins before. And you had already passed over them at the regular price. I did. I think she was charging a dollar each the first day, and I picked up a few plush, not the ties, but I did pick up a few plush that day. Um, but we spent two hours there the first day and bought a lot of stuff. And some of it I shared with you on the previous haul from that weekend. So before I get going through this, though, I just wanted to do another public service announcement because I, I, I've been doing this for a long time. And I, I, I know when somebody's about to start trying to scam me. And I'm seeing a lot of it on Facebook Marketplace. And I've mentioned this before where somebody sends you a message about one of your items and then all of a sudden, I need your cell phone number or I need um, your cell phone number so I can send you a code. Any of that, don't do it. We've learned on eBay, you never show, share personal information, but Facebook allows it because a lot of times our sales can be local and it can go off of their platform. They don't care. But Robert also has been um, seeing some of similar scams, he accepts friend requests from anybody and everybody, not me, but he does. And he had a person. Met, <laughs> no. I accepted uh, a crazy friend request from an odd woman. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. No. Yeah. He had a friend send him a message the other day. Um, first of all, trying to pull the whole have you heard about the community block grant? That was weeks ago. Yeah, that was weeks ago. And then the other day, Robert got another message from the same guy, which I don't know why he hadn't blocked him at that point, um, telling him that he was having problems getting logged into Facebook. Would Robert give him his phone number so Facebook could send him a code? And then he could give the, Robert could give the guy the code so that just don't do it. Don't do it. Somehow, some way, they can use this information to get into your account. And that's just, the, no, no. All right. We'll start with the plush. Probably one of my, I would have bought this the first day if I had seen it. This is Gund Caritas Tender Teddy. And then I bought a bunch. A bunch of ties and others. And what I'm going to do is the ones that are like this, the tie attic treasures, I'll probably make a lot of them. And then these like this, I'll check to see if they're worth anything. I actually think I might have one of these. So I'll just add the ink, up the uh, quantity. And then there were quite a few of these pro... Pro, oh, this one says NBA. 
player teddy bears. Um, so I'll just go through all of them. Again, there's quite a few over here, um, and I'll just make lots eventually, because um, right now I need to get the Christmas stuff going. They had a whole bunch of vintage um, vehicles they were in really rough shape. There was a lot of them were from the Fisher Price Husky Helpers series, um, but they were rough. And by the time I came back there this day, somebody had bought all of them, probably at the half price sale. But I did pick this up. It's missing pieces, but it is vintage and it's that blow mold stuff. So I'll try to get a comp. And if I can't get probably five to $10 on eBay, I'll just put it in my booth. The house was full of. Yeah, no. <laughs> he almost down. knocked my lights down. <laughs> Guys, my basement is so full of stuff right now because we've had an amazing summer sourcing, and I've tried my best to get as much as I can listed, but it's it's piling up. And then the clothes, and we even went out today and sourced. How many estate sales? We were going to one one estate sale. One estate sale. We ended up running across yard sales, going there and coming back. And just, again, another good day of sourcing. So it's December and we're still finding stuff. So, you know, until, until there's no more uh, yard sales and estate sales, I will still keep checking every weekend to go. But our estate sales, we have lots of companies here lots so i follow most of them on facebook they provide pictures so i know if it's something i want to travel to jeff and nelly are having another one next weekend yes yes not sure where but i told him to have 107. A merry christmas. i said have a merry christmas if we don't see you and he said we have another one next weekend because he said they were wanting to take december off but it's not working out speaking of taking off i think i'm gonna take a week off before christmas call me crazy but you know, I think we're going to do a little short sourcing trip and visit family. But anyway, the house was full of stuff. Stuff everywhere. Things like this. I just couldn't resist. This is a little salt and pepper set made in Taiwan. Looks very vintage -y. If it's not worth anything again, I'll put it over in my booth for 3 or $4. And... This person did a whole lot of crafts. Needlepoint, cross stitch, and then those paint things. So this bag was full of a lot of that stuff because I went straight to the craft area, which also had the toys. But things like this. This is cross stitch set. A lot of them were opened, but I peeked at a few just to make sure that they weren't started. But that will affect the price because the bags have been opened. And I'll confirm to make sure as much as I can that stuff's in there. Just here's some more. This one is sealed. So that's good. Here's another sealed one. I'm hoping most of these... Now, I've sold Dimension gold before and there's some dimensions in here but no gold for over a hundred dollars but more than likely a lot of these are probably eight to twenty dollars just really depends I see this one's opened but it's a precious moments little quilt thingy so I'm still hoping even that they're opened that I can still get at least ten dollars for something like that This is Wonder Art, some kind of bell pull it says, but the box. Packaging is very much scrunched. And then another one like this. And uh, there were quite a few of them. Like this one is sunset, but it is opened. And then this, I love this, probably might be if I can remember, one of my favorite finds. They had these die cut holiday cutouts for that are vintage -y. And there were different seasons. Like this one was the Valentine's Day. Here's a few more. 
And then, a couple of large Easter ones, but right here is my favorite. Who are these? Halloween. Look at these. I'm pretty sure they're vintage. And there's a wolf, witches, pumpkins, Dracula. I think this was some kind of mobile because there's strings attached to them. But I truly am hoping that these are like, I don't know, $50 or more. And then there was this one, which was very cute. So I have to share it. Very large, but it opened and folded. Happy birthday. So, I think that was my favorite find, if my memory serves me right. Then there were, I've got a bunch right here, these. The paint, ready to paint. Now I've done well with some of the buildings in these type. Um, I forget, California something or other is a series that when I find them, they're usually $20, $25 each. These, like this one's Holland Mold. A lot of times that's a good one to find. And then they had these little ducks, just adorable. So I'll sell that as a set. There was this little sheep. Loved it. And then, sorry, I'm leaning because my honey's on his phone and isn't handing me anything. These. How cute are they? They're shelf sitters. We, Robert and I kind of argued, I think you could hang a stocking from these as long as, you know, they're not got anything in them. Oh, well, you could hang a stocking from them. <laughs> but he thinks some child's gonna pull them down. And then I found a set of these. I think my sister told me one time, they've got this little end in. It's like a thumbprint or something. But there's a set of these that were four of them some kind of cordial or glass set. And then quite a few of these trinket boxes. This little eeks. Well, fairy. And I'm sure there's probably more down in here. And I thought this was cute. I think there's some more of these too. There might have been a set of them. But they were kind of that fluorescent, no, luminescent type glass. Just thought it was very cute. I was curious about the Halloween stuff. I had to look it up. Just the Wolfman sold for 20 bucks. Oh my goodness. And there are some crazy prices in here for some of this vintage things. Like 50. There's a devil that sold for 62. There's some really good of uh, the, the Halloween ones. I told you. My gut Ooh. told me. There, show that one. The witch. Oh. Holy cow. Look at the witch, $199. Oh my. I might be doing an auction on some of mine if I can't find them. And a puzzle, sealed. All right, this is the second bag. I'm gonna show you just, there's so much. I'm just gonna show you samples of them. These intrigued me and they had them for $10 each. There's some type, I've got three of them. Let me show you all three. But they're like um, the glass, art glass. These three little, I don't know. I'm hoping Google Lens will help me, but they are just very unique. Lots of coffee mugs. Anything from characters, like Snoopy, Garfield. Oh, here I'm showing you guys the back. That looks like it was a. Well, I thought it was going to be on both sides, and then 
The Mile High Swinging Bridge at Grandfather Mountain. I don't even know if they still have that. They had it there 15 years ago. Oh, look how cute that is. Now these, the first day, like I said before, we bought a bunch of coffee mugs and they were three for a dollar, but they had hundreds. I'm not quite sure why one person would have that many coffee mugs. Look at little 101 Dalmatian ornament. A lot of old electronics. I'm assuming you picked that up. Archer Stereo Audio Video Processor. I don't know. It'll be right here if I can find a comp for it. Some more of the paint. Ready to paint. Now this is a candle that's shaped like a mushroom. This is the time of year that I I'm okay with listing something like this, but if it doesn't sell before the, the weather starts warming up, um, or if it gets shipped to Hawaii or whatever, I may have to contact the buyer just to be careful. I have shipped candles before and they've made it just fine in the summer, but that was, was a mistake, but very cute. A lot of little ornament type things like this. Done well with this. These are microware. This was a big old Dutch oven type bowl. It's gonna need cleaned. But definitely do the comps on microware when you see it. Just some more. I think there's another one of these. This person collected or had dachshunds because I bought quite a few things that were for the dachshunds. I don't normally buy Mikasa. It just kind of isn't something that sells well, but when you're filling a bag, it's just a little trinket dish with Christmas. Probably might go to my booth. Must have been in the kitchen. This is Temptations. Some of it does really well, some of it not so much, but here it is. It had a nice little lid. This must have been sitting in a garage or something because it's got a whole lot of dusty dirt. I'm pretty sure I can clean it. But again, it's another one of those paint by numbers, Jesus and the children. Again, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, you know, 20 bucks or so for it. This was originally $15. I've bought these types of ceramic pigs before. This one's cute like a watermelon. Um, it is hand painted. Don't know, but it does have its plug. That's the big thing about remembering when you buy piggy banks, make sure it has its plug. This is an electric knife. It's funny is I, I actually went and bought one at Target one time when you can get these at yard sales all the time but of course when I needed one I couldn't find one again I don't know what the comps are so I'll put it right here hopefully it works this is Yankee Candle Company I bought it but now that I'm looking at it it's got quite a bit of crazing I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way I'll just have to look and see what I find on eBay but crazing is that just kind of lines that makes it look but it seems to be pretty uniform so I have a feeling that's how they made this I just thought these were adorable this one is Joseph originals she's very dirty but I her flowers I checked them they all seem to be not chipped or and intact just very cute and then this little doll they had a huge table I fought to try to get to look at as much of the linens as I possibly could. But they had quite a few um, curtains and tablecloths that were still in their bag. These are Montgomery Ward. So I thought there's a pair of them. I'm hoping, you know, 20 or $30, maybe even a little bit more for the set. And then I showed, I think in my last what sold, 
or maybe it's this one that I haven't done yet. Um, I like to buy vintage tablecloths. Um, this one's Walmart, made in Taiwan, but I do quite well. You know, still 10 to $20 on these. I'm surprised somebody didn't pick this up before the sale. This is Danbury Mint, and it's three little ornaments that are dachshunds. I've done very well with Danbury Mint. But I just, I'm hoping, again, maybe $15 to $20 for this. I found a bag of these, and I thought, there was a time when these sold very well. And then it kind of just kind of stopped for a while. I didn't check comps. I wished I had, probably. But these are all pantyhose. Just, there's a whole pack of them. Oop. And then some of these legs. I'll probably make a big old lot. Maybe divide. Hopefully they're all the same size and see what I get out of them. This is a <laughs> some kind of a video camera. Sharp view cam, I think. Right. We don't normally buy this stuff. And I've already mentioned this before in a previous video. I tried buying video game systems this year. Probably bought five different ones. Game Boy systems, Xbox systems. None. None have worked yet. So... This is his doing. I'm going to make him check it. They but use, People put them together. People use them for parts, too. Right. And we, I have done that before on certain things. Like, right now I have a can opener upstairs that we can't seem to get to work properly. I'm going to go ahead and list it for parts or repair. You just got to make sure you pick the right category so that it doesn't go under a used category. Because used means that it works. So you need to make sure you find the category that says for parts or repair and then put it everywhere in the title, in the description, everywhere so that you're covered if they buy it thinking that um, it truly does work. I, while you were doing the other bags, I looked that up, but that it is worth like 40 to $120 or something if it works. So if, it works. if you come across one that works, it's... Definitely. For and, some money. and we are going to try to watch for more electronic type stuff this next year. The problem is just the testing. And then we went ahead and grabbed this other one. I don't think it was worth very much. It's a some kind of JVC hard disk handy camera. I think when you looked it up, it was going to be what fifteen to twenty dollars or something. Thirty to forty, I think. Maybe. Yeah. If and it works. If it works. But if you're filling a bag, you might as well, right? I think there were quite a few pieces of brass. Almost all of my Watt Sold videos have brass. We bought a bunch earlier in the, the summer, in the sourcing season, that we've had. Just an amazing year. Amazing. But if you're not buying brass, or at least checking comps, you need to do that because... I think I've sold several pieces over $100, but I sell a lot in the $20, $30, $40 range. Um, I think today I sold a little brass dog for like $26. So you definitely need to get on the brass brand wagon. The little animals you can frequently get for like 2 maybe $3. Very little at estate sales and stuff. Now we bought a bulk lot of them. A friend bought some for me, and then we went to a liquidation cell where we paid by the pound. But, yeah. There were several of these pieces that are just kind of ornate. They, It seems like they charge quite a bit more when you're buying these larger vase-like things, like $10, $15 a lot of times. And this, these had $10 on them, and I, I wasn't buying them for $10. But for putting them in a $15 bag... Definitely. And he picked these up. New York and Boston. Little specialty. These are hard plastic cups. 
reusable capital cups. Did you do comps at all on these? No. No, I didn't. Comp yeah, we any didn't of this. comp nothing. I comped those cameras while you were talking earlier. That's yeah, I'm hoping at least probably five to ten dollars for them. If not, they're you know something we can maybe even make a lot of. Ooh, do you know what that sound was? Etsy. I've been doing really well on Etsy. I've sold five things already, and I just started on there. Very good. She had lots of crafts. These are puzzles that are still sealed in their boxes. Um, this is some kind of paint by number. Don't know if it's vintage. Oh, 2004. So this might be something really good. That's if you have look up comps for already done paint by numbers. Some of them go for crazy amounts. I don't know if I would notice them at a garage sale, sitting in a framed whatever. I need to watch for them too. And just here's some more puzzles. We have so many puzzles upstairs. You notice they weren't in my bag. <laughs> He's giving me a look. And then VHS. Of course, I would love to find some of the VHSs that are selling these days for 500, 600, 800. Doubtful this is one of them, but it is sealed box. And then he picked these up. These are very cute. Let me see if I can open this up. Oh yeah. These are hand painted eggs that have been blown. I'm not sure if the woman made these or these were purchased like this, but how cute is that? And then there's a second one right here that's blue. Now I've talked, I used to do what they call UK, Ukrainian Easter eggs, or they're called pasanki. Um, and I bought a kit this summer, this summer, and a couple of my friends and I are going to get together and we might try to do it again this winter. A few more odd things. Robert picked this up. At first I'm like, it, it's just that felt plastic, but it's got a very unique saddle on it. So I may have to do a little bit more research on it. I couldn't find any markings on it and it may not be anything. And I may just pull the saddle off and sell it. Somebody maybe would want it for a briar horse because this is about the right size. Somebody must have been a Boston's fan. Here's a kind of a metal what are these called? Tankard. Tankard. I believe. I could be wrong. But. Yeah, and then here's some, I don't know if it's cloisonne or something, a little Asian. They had a lot of Asian type stuff. And then there were quite a few more coffee mugs. Even my husband picked some up. Look how cute this is. Just the little angel on it. A few more puzzles, but to his benefit, these are sealed. I'll probably put these both together. Not together together, but in a lot together. In a lot together, yes. Some more brass he picked up. Solid brass made in India. Oh, I think they're upside down. Two little, I've done, I've got something very similar to this already. And I'm hoping this is going to be like 50 or $60 for the two of them. I had to, uh, I was like, why'd you buy this? But it's actually got a really nice frame. But it's just a print. But you can tell it's older. There's somebody's name on there, so I'm going to not show that. But it's just very ornate. But if nothing else, I'll take it to the booth. There's a little, not quite sure, disposable camera from Rite Aid. These intrigued me. Like I said, they had a whole section of their house that was had like Asian influence. But look at these. And these had, had an original price of $35 on them. They're some type of vintage sandals. But the bottoms are like super hard, like wooden. And then there's these little 
booties that have a split toe, so I guess you could wear these with your sandals. It's just very unique. I'm going to have to do some research on them. Yeah, it says Japan right on the little metal clip there. So if anybody has any information on these, please let me know in the comments. Here are some, it says marble-like dominoes. But they're Air Force. I bought several things that were Air Force. He had, somebody in the household had gone to the Air Force Academy. But these are very cute. Made me remember though, don't ever use like in your um, titles. The, the eBay doesn't like that. It makes them think that you're trying to, um, what's the word? Keyword spam. Keyword spam, yes. But these are very unique. And then I'm going to show you a couple of clothes just because. There was a tons of vintage stuff there, and I think I bought quite a few the, on the regular day, and then I must have found some more. But again, you know, made in the USA just tells me that this is going to be quality. And just look how unique these were. Look at this little giraffe on this jacket. Just let me move back so you guys can see it better. I'm enjoying vintage clothes. Not as much as my toys, but I'm enjoying listing, listing them. And then here's some vintage flannel pajamas. Look at that. This is my new thing to find vintage clothes. We bought quite a fit today at one of the estate sales. And then again, Air Force Academy. Big old sweatshirt. This is an Air Force scrapbook. It seems sealed, but more than likely I'm going to open it up and make sure that there's no pictures or anything personal in there. And then just a couple of, I don't know what. I don't do tools. But Robert picked this up. Radio Shack soldering gun. Is this for us or to sell? So. I mean, if it's worth anything. Very good. I don't have one, so you never know. Might it might go in the personal pile. Here. Some tools. He goes to the garage. I don't go to the garage. Some kind of tool. It's for a router. And Not like a Wi Fi router, but a tool router. Cute little Christmas ornament. I do not think that that's somebody from that family, but if it is a photo, I'm going to take it out. I found one more thing I wanted to share. I think it's supposed to be this crackled looking. It had a $5 price on it. But it does say I-R-I-C-E. So I'm hoping that this is something special. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this. Something a little bit different. Um... Definitely pay attention to the estate sales in your area. This is one of the only companies that we've ever, and that last weekend was the first time I think we've ever gone to one of their sales. Um, and they had this fill a bag. Now they had another one this weekend and they're not having a fill a bag. So I'm, I'm guessing it's up to whoever they're doing the, the service for, whether they're going to do a fill a bag or donate or what at the end of the sale. Um, but it, it's been fun going to these estate sales. Are you looking this up real quick? What that? No. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, I don't know what to say. I'm asking people on Facebook for their phone number. <laughs> All right. I think this video is being quite long. I, again, Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the likes and subscribes that I've had. If you're new to my channel and you're enjoying this type of content, um, please do subscribe. Click on the bell and it tells you when we release stuff. We do try to release three videos at least a week. Um, two of my Watts Solds and then some type of haul of something that we've picked up. 
We are going to start going to the Goodwill bins here soon. I am planning a sourcing trip where for four or five or six days, we're going to just source, source, source until we fill up a trailer and then bring it home and work with it for the next couple of weeks till we decide we want to do it again. All right. Bye.